Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Trevor James. And uh, today, um, I want to talk to the people that that call themselves boasting up to God. I want to talk to the people that that think that God owes them something. And so, and, and to me, like, you know, these are selfish and stubborn people. Now, now, uh, for one thing, I want to let you know that um, a, a, a Jesus is king. And so, therefore, who can, what name in this world or, 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 or before uh, when Jesus came, what, what name was ever greater than, than Jesus' name? Not none. So... So, so, so the fact that, that, that there could be people who boast up against the Lord, I want to let you know right from, right from the jump that, for, uh, first of all, do you know who you're boasting up against? You are boasting up against a Lord who is mighty, a Lord, a, a God who has all power. A God who knows all things, and so, and like I said, I'm 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 only talking to the people who call themselves boasting up at God and thinking that God owes them something when clearly He don't. So, so if if if, if this is not you, then you know don't worry. But to all the people that have been boasting themselves up against God. Uh, giving God attitude, uh, talking to God like you crazy, uh, uh, purposely thinking evil thoughts towards God. I want to let you know that you have no power whatsoever. The very fact that God made you is the very fact that it showed that he cared about you. It, it showed that he loved you. And, and, and so for you to boast up at God and, and then expect God to give you something because of works, or because of works, and 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 because of, of the fact that God blessed others, and and he and he haven't came across a, a, to blessing you. First of all, uh, be mindful of of who God is, because see uh, back then. And 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 in the Bible days, um, a, a lot of them, oh, uh, 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 when they continued in you know sin, and then they call themselves bossing up against God, they fell dead. So, if if anything, with you call, calling yourself to boss up against God, I, I I want to let you know that He could take your life in an instant. I'm talking about you. It's possible uh, uh, that God can take your life and you drop dead. And so I'm here to crack down on you because, see, one thing you're messing with, 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 with you know, my God, you're messing with a God who is seriously all power. All, he, 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 he's all powerful. And so. And so uh, the one thing I, I want to really I bring across to you is a fact that if I just one breath of of of, of God breathing on on this earth, if He wanted to, He can breathe onto this earth and and obliterate everything. A God can literally think one thought and obliterate this whole entire world. God God is more powerful than. Any of us could have ever imagined. And so the very fact that you uh, come to God and, and, and you catch your attitude and you come up to God and be like, God, I deserve this. I deserve that. And, and, and you will give it to me. For, uh, first of all, calm yourself down. And I'm talking about and, 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 and hear me good. I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking to everybody who purposely, intentionally calling themselves to, to disrespect God 
and think that you are going to get away with it. You won't. God will never lower his standards to your standards. God is so powerful and 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 he does and he deserves respect and praise. And so if you want to continue on on disrespecting God by 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 also stand and 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 you know sin, then I'm going to let you know right here now that hell will be your home. If you think that you can blaspheme God and cuss Jesus out and think that you are going to get away with it, you are not going to get away with it at all. And and also, I'm here to let you know that 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 your 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 body is not running off of a battery. So be mindful that that it's God who 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 blesses you to stay alive. Each day that God gives you, it is the grace and mercy of God that you are still here today. It it is because of the loving grace and 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 mercy of God that you are still here today. And 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 there are so many people, so many people, boy, who think that God owes them something. When Jesus died on the cross, that was enough. So, so first of all, I'm going to repeat it again. God don't owe you nothing. He don't owe you nothing. Because, see, when Jesus died on the cross, that was enough. The, the very fact that that you can place your faith within Jesus and 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 and, and he secure you eternally that that right there is enough but but there's just too many people who think who think that that Jesus dying with with Jesus dying on the cross or that it's not enough and so they boast up at God who are you to boast up against God Almighty? Who are you to to even even come to Him and with your pride and act like you you got it all together and and furthermore acting like that you don't need God? There are a lot of people in this world. Uh, they live like they do not need God, and. And, and, and I'm here to let you know that you are wrong from the jump. Like I you know, told you, the very fact that, that you are breathing today is by the loving grace and mercy of God. Your body is not running off of a, 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 a battery power because if, if, if it was, you would have been dead. A long time ago, but the fact that God is keeping you alive, that right there is also enough. The very fact that he gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you, and then you live like, like, like he do not exist, you're, you're playing with your life. So... And, and then and then a lot of y'all want to to take God's grace for granted because of the fact that uh, uh, that you feel that 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 this life is just a life that you can just enjoy in your worldly lusts and and wants is that is not the reason why. Why God has placed us here, so so every one of you who who boasts up at at God with how you live your life, you are you are playing with your soul, and 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 for one thing, watch your attitude towards God. So when you t so so when. Uh, I don't care if, if 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 you come to God and you are upset with him. Watch your attitude towards God. Cause he is God. He can 
He can take your life away in an instant. Watch how you talk to God. And watch what you think towards God. Too many people is playing with God. Too, uh, too many people. So I encourage you that to, I encourage you uh, to get your act right. I encourage you to seriously ask God for forgiveness and turn your life around. God is a God that is not meant or should be played with. So I'm, I'm trying to urge you and, and, and tell you as much as possible because when it's all said and done, you will, if, if, if you are not found living for Jesus, if you, if, you, if you are not found, in fact, if your name is not found written in, 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 in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will be suffering an in eternal punishment. So, so you have no power to boast. You, you have no right to boast up against a God who is all powerful. You have no right. So get your act right. Come to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness and turn your life around and respect God as much as possible.